All right, we making uh, pickle jalapenos and dill pickles. All right, so here's what we got. I've got kosher salt, some dill weed, fresh is preferred, however, I don't have any fresh, so I'm using dried. Plus, because of that, uh, the hot brine solution, we're gonna extract the oils out of this um, so that these actually taste like dill pickles. I like chives in mine. Again, these are dried. Same thing is happening with the chives. We're gonna go in with the crushed red pepper flake. Not too much because some of these I've de-seeded, but some I've left the seeds in. I do have kids here visiting for the holidays. So, you know, I kinda of wanna take it easy on their palate. And we've got, I'll be using a cup of um, white distilled vinegar. Um, and then of course I have here, these are the uh, red pickled onions I did earlier. These will also be going on my McRib sandwich. Let me show you what I have, all right? I've got two large jalapenos that half I've de-seeded and the rest I've left these in. Um, typically, once you uh, pickle jalapenos, it's either gonna go one of two ways. They're gonna get hot, hotter, or they gonna stay the same. In my experience, they get hotter. I love the taste of um, some freshly mashed garlic. I leave these whole and I just smash them with the palm of my hand. And then here we have one whole uh, long English cucumber. Now you can use pickling cucumbers. I didn't have any on hand. I'm used to doing these with whatever type of cucumber I have in my fridge. Let me show you what I have on the stove, my pickling solution. All right, to the boil, this is ready. And this being hot is the key. This is one cup of the white distilled vinegar to one cup of water to one tablespoon of salt. Now, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna leave this to the boil. Actually, we're, we're gonna turn it off. That'll still remain hot. Now, we're gonna come back over here. I like to go ahead and start getting all of my items into the jar. Um, I've used both uh, plastic vessels as well as glass jars for this. Be very careful, you know, you don't want to have a very cold jar and you put hot pickling solution in it, right? So we're gonna go here. You'll find some people put their actual um, herbs and spices in the actual hot brine. You can do it that way, that's one method to do it. However, I am going to get everything into the jar and then my solution We'll be covering all of this, all right? I can't forget the garlic cloves. These things will settle in, you know, um, the longer we have in that solution. I will allow this solution, once poured over these jalapenos and cucumbers, to, to cool to room temperature, and th then these will go in my fridge. This is really a quick pickle. Stay tuned. Let me show you what we have. So that's all in there, it's gonna settle down. What you wanna do, you want the brine to cover um, whatever you're pickling. Now, these aren't the only things that you can pickle. I've seen people pickle carrots. I've seen people pickle celery. There's a myriad of things you can pickle. However, for my McRib sandwich, these will be perfect. I'm doing it early on in my cook so I can get the best um, uh, pickle. Um, early on, you probably could eat these after you know a good 30 minutes an hour of sitting that pickling brine. Um, however, I'm going to let them sit for a few hours before I even open this canister. Just stay tuned. There you have it. This is quite a simple recipe. However, if you want to add a big flavor, big punch in your mouth to your burgers, to anything, to your barbecue, try out some of these pickled jalapenos some of these pickled English cu cucumbers. I tell you this brine is so good that you give it a day or two, you actually can eat and chew on this uh, pickled garlic. Um, it's absolutely delicious. This pickling brine kind of tampers down the, the tone and flavor of that raw garlic. It makes it where it's more palatable, right? Uh, here you go. So I'm gonna let this sit come to room temperature. I'm actually gonna put it here in my front window and then once it's ready, I'm going to get a top on it and put it in my fridge.